centuries ago Not long after the Bible began Jacob lived in the land of Canaan A fine example of a family man Jacob, Jacob and sons Depended on farming to earn their keep Jacob, Jacob and sons Spent all of their days in the fields with sheep Jacob was the founder of a whole new nation Thanks to the number of the children he'd had He was also known as Israel but most of the time His sons and his wives used to call him dad Jacob, Jacob and sons Men of the soil of the sheep and crook Jacob, Jacob and sons are a remarkable family in anyone's book Reuben was the eldest of the children of Israel With Simeon and Levi the next in line Natalie and Issachar with Asher and Dan Silver and 
enjoyed his brothers. But what makes us mad are the things that Joseph tells us of the dreams he's often had. I dreamt that in the fields one day at corn collecting time, your eleven sheaves of corn all turned and bowed to mine. My sheep was quite a sight to see. A golden sheaf and tall Yours were green and second rate And really rather small This is not the kind of thing we brothers like to hear It seems to us that Joseph and his dream should disappear Stars, the sun and moon and sky Bowing down before my star It made me wonder why Could it be that I was born For higher things than you A post in someone's government A ministry or two Multicolored coats. Having ripped it up, they next attacked our passing goat. Soon the wretched creature was no more. They dipped his coat in blood and guts and gore.
Never die. Joseph died as he wished to. He answered to his call. He sang the branded song that would have killed us all. His blood stained called his tribute to his final sacrifice. His body may be past his feet, but his soul. Truth and light, never die. When I think of his last great battle, a lump comes to my throat. As it takes a man who knows no fear to wrestle with a goat. Really live in style, and he did. 
Joseph was an unimportant slave who found he liked his master. Consequently, worked much harder, even with devotion. But if I could see that Joseph was a cut up of the average, made him leader of the household, makes him a promotion. Potiphar was cool and so fine, but his wife would never toe the line. It's all there in chapter 39 of Genesis. She was beautiful but evil. Saw a lot of men against his will. He would have to tell her that she still was his. Joseph's looks and handsome figure had attracted her attention. Every morning she would beg her. Come and lie with me, love. Joseph wanted to resist her till one day she proved to eager. Joseph cried in vain. Please stop, I don't believe in free love. Oh, it's 
a land of my own. I do not matter, I'm only one person Destroy me completely, then throw me away If my life were important, I would ask will I live or die But I know the answers lie far from this world Close every door to me Keep those I love from me Children of Israel Are never alone For we know we shall find Our own peace of mind For we have been Joseph's luck was really out, his spirit and his fortune low. Alone he sat, alone he thought of happy times he used to know. Hey dreamer, don't be so upset. Hey Joseph, you're not beaten yet. and black, his chains were heavy, weighed him down. A candle was his only light, the hungry rats the only sound. Hey dreamer, don't be so upset. Hey Joseph, you're not beaten yet. <laughs> Joseph were two very frightened men. We don't think that we will ever see the light of day again. Hey Joseph, help us if you can. We've had dreams that we don't understand. <laughs> Tell me of your dreams, my friends, and I will tell you what they show. Though I cannot guarantee to get it right, I'll have a go. 
first the butler trembling took the floor. Nervously he spoke of what he saw. There I was standing in front of a vine. Pick me some grapes and I crushed them to wine. I gave it to Beryl who drank from a cup. I tried to interpret but I had to give up. You will soon be free, old chap, so do not worry anymore. The king will let you out of here, you bottle as you did before. Next the baker rose to tell his dream, hoping it would have a similar theme. There I was standing with baskets of bread. And ate every slice. Give me the message, but keep it concise. Sad to say, your dream is not the kind of dream I'd like to get. Pharaoh has it in for you, your execution date is set. Don't rely on all I said I saw It's just that I have not been wrong before
was a powerful man with the ancient world in the palm of his hand. To all intent and purposes he was Egypt with a capital E. Whatever he did he was showered with praise. If he cracked a joke then you chortled for days. No one had rights or a book but the king. In fact you might say he was fairly right wing. When pharaohs are round, then you get down on the ground. If you ever find yourself near Amasi, get down on your Joseph is still doing time in jail For even though he isn't with the guards A lifetime in prison seems quite on the cards But if my analysis of the position is right At the end of the tunnel there's a glimmer of light For all of a sudden there's been visions and things Disturbing the sleep of both peasants and kings Strange as it seems, there's been a run of crazy dreams And a man who can interpret could go far Could become a star This Joseph man, I need him to help me if he can. You gotta help me now 
In the field out of town When I saw seven beautiful Years of corn uh -huh. They were up, they were going But you guess right behind them Came seven out of years A time and song uh -huh. And the bike came to good command They came up from behind to see them Well, Joseph is a punchline So really gonna blow your mind Better say that it's ever, ever, ever been This dream has got me all shook up and treat me nice and tell me what it means Joseph is a clever kid Heard it by the 14 cars Can mean the things he said he did Joseph, you must help me, Father I have found a job for you You must lead us through the crisis You shall be my number two Pharaoh told his guard to fetch a chisel From the local store Whereupon he ordered them to cut the chains That Joseph wore Joseph got the royal pardon And the host of splendid things Chariots of gold and cloak And metal and some signet rings Joseph, Pharaoh's number two. Joseph, Joseph, Egypt looks to you. Seven summers on the trot were perfect, just as Joseph said. Joseph saw that food was gathered ready for the years ahead. Seven years of famine followed. Egypt did not mind the bit. The first recorded rationing. We are the perfect team Oh, but is that you and me? I was 
was wise to have chosen you. You'll be wise to agree. Joseph, how can we ever say? We baffled every hound, but now we're in a bottle ship was just a piece of cake. Greatest man since Noah, only goes to show. Anyone from anywhere can make it if they get a lucky break. This could be a happy ending, perfect place to stop the show. Joseph, after all, has got about as far as he can go. But I'm sure the man is the sun and watch your mind. Judge the 
that. Perhaps she wasn't quite that bad. And how we miss his entertaining dreams. Jacob's family were finding it tough. For the family has got us on prevent. We are too, we are ill, we are getting scared. She loves to make any more beef. We are down to our belly like sheep. We were starving, we hang out right here. And in Egypt, this food to expect. They got corn, they got meat, they got fruit and drinks. And if we had the time, I dreamt that in the fields one day at corn collecting time Your eleven sheaves of corn all turned and bowed to mine I dreamt I saw eleven stars, the sun and moon and sky Bowing down before my star, it made me wonder why could be spies telling me that you are hungry that could be lies how do I know who you are why do you think I should help you would you help me why on earth should I believe you I have no guarantee grovel, grovel, Sincere, suddenly your tragic story gets me right here. This is what we hope to say. All the shouting at my heartstrings is quite justified. I should be doing what you came for and lots more than sign. And they grow up with base gratitude. Thank you.
your little numbers up. One of you has stolen a British Golden Cup. Joseph started searching through his trousers sacks. Everyone was nervous. No one could relax. Is it Reuben? No. Is it Simeon? No. Is it Natalie? No. Is it Dan? No. Is it Asher? No. Is it Isaka? No. Is it Levi? No. Who's the man? Is it Zebulun? No. Is it Gad? No. Is it Judah? No. Is it him? Benjamin, you nasty you, your crime has shocked me to the core. Never in my whole career have I encountered this before. God sees him, lock him in a cell. Throw the keys into the Nile as well.
I close my eyes, drew back the curtain to see for certain what I thought I knew. Far, far away, someone was weeping, and the world was sleeping. Any dream will do. I wore my coat. I wore my coat. With golden lining. Oh, bright colors shining. Oh, wonderful and new. And in the east. And in the east. The dawn was breaking.
die. Never die. When I think of his last great battle, a lump comes to my throat. Because you know, it takes a man who knows no fear to wrestle. and light never die like dr young is never wrong <laughs>
Jesus in Canaan. The sun has fell and let me go. The fields were a And everything round us was fine. Now the fields are dead and bare. No sword of evil anywhere. A mountain or we drink a bitter wine. Remember those wonderful parties, <laughs> the splendors of Canaan's cuisine, our extravagant, elegant soirees. The gales the Bible has seen. It's funny, but since we've lost Joseph, we've gone to the other extreme no one comes to dinner now they'd only eat sin anyhow I even find I'm missing Joseph's dream Joseph, we've gone to the other extreme. <laughs> Perhaps we all misjudged the lad. Perhaps he wasn't quite that bad. And how we miss his entertaining dreams.
close my eyes Drew back the curtain To see for certain What I thought I knew Far, far away Someone was weeping And the world was sleeping any dream will do I wore my coat, I wore my coat. With golden lining ah, Bright colors shining ah, Wonderful and new And in the east and in the gentlemen with some fear and trepidation because I'm not quite sure what's going to happen behind me plus the fact that I didn't actually count the number of people on stage and I'm not sure that the stage will take any more. Uh, the stamping of the feet I'm afraid put me really worried as to what was going to happen but it's my pleasure on behalf of the school to say really what a tremendous performance we've had for three nights. These people here have been superb haven't they? They've all been superb in their own ways, the individual soloists, the dancers, how they've performed up here on a stage this size, I don't know. I thought they were tremendous, weren't you girls? Yeah. 